<laughs> Sorry. Okay. So I have like I have like no slides at all and no plan at all. But um, I was thinking like so at my last job we did all this like language stuff like NLP machine learning stuff and it was really fun. Uh, but I was like always learning all the time because I didn't have my PhD or whatever, um, and everyone else did. So it was fun because I was like the worst player in the band. But um, like I think there's like this like kind of like recurring theme. Like is this big enough? People in the back? Anybody? Okay. No. Okay. Um, is like I feel like we just as everyone in computers, like we just don't understand encoding or SSL and like probably like the same. It's like always a Google search for me. Like you know, yeah, I got it. And then it's like two years later, oh. you know, so like, I don't know, it's almost like memento or something. Um, <laughs> and it's like a list, it's like we could have the tattoos. Oh, this, is, this metaphor is really working. Yeah, we could have, we could have like SSL and encoding and like, um, and the reason is, the reason is because we're Americans. Like we're, well, I mean, right now we are, I think. I'm just going to generalize. I'm sorry. But generally, statistically speaking, we're probably Americans, and that makes us like really stupid to like, because of this. This, this is like the you know, American standard for characters something something. Um, I have no idea. But I know that this thing is like why, <laughs> why we just don't understand encodings, because Basically, ASCII is, and this is not science, so please don't write any of this down. Also, don't record it. Um, <laughs> but basically, like ASCII is this like like lucky accident that basically like there's like this. Oh god, I don't even know if I can do the regex, but like what, like this to? Can somebody help me with the uh, A to Z? The A to Z, you know, this thing. A to Z, then this, that, right? To A. Right, or something, or, oh, it needs to be in quotes, or something, I don't know. Anyway, you know, oh, forward slashes, yeah, 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 regex, right. Yeah, oh, awesome. <laughs> right, yes, so that worked. Um, <laughs> so, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Um, anyway, so you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm getting at. Basically, like, this is like how we type all of our words. Yay, cat, bacon, and stuff like that, right? And it's all on this keyboard. Is, and it all fits on this keyboard. We don't have to have like 20,000 Chinese characters, you know, I'm like standing up here to like type like mothership, spaceship, you know, bacon, robot or something. Um, so we got like super lucky and like computers just came out. It's like, yay, I can like make, I've got an alphabet and everything that's a noun ends in shun and all these like language things, right? That just happens to work with computers, right? Like Chinese doesn't have this problem. Korean, uh, well, Chinese does have this problem. Ch Korean doesn't have this problem. This is alphabetical, like, and then Japanese, as Joan can probably tell me more than I, than I know, has like all kinds of different alphabets. So they basically have the Chinese problem in one alphabet and so on and so forth, right? So um, like language and encodings are really close to each other because basically encoding is like how you kind of like serialize sort of the byte sequence. And I want to show you that just in Pry. So, um, so basically like the default encoding as of like any modern Ruby is UTF-8, right? And so you're thinking, um, and I'm thinking, oh, so all my problems are solved. Um, so that's not true because, and there's at least two reasons, but the ones that I know of that have burned me this week, actually, is that posts in HTTP are not UTF-8. They are uh, nothing, I think. Like, you don't send the encoding with the post as per the spec. So, like, Rails can do nothing to help you. Everything else, like, gets and stuff, like, it kind of passes along the encoding. And so what happens is like you basically get this, there's this encoding, um, the encoding constant has like the list of encodings in it, right? So you get all these constants. And one of them is this ASCII 8-bit, right? And that doesn't mean ASCII. That means I don't know what it is, it's just binary. And you think like, oh, that's what binary is. And maybe it is. <laughs> but like Rails, it just, like for posts and, st and other stuff, like it doesn't know what you're, like you're talking about. It'll just come out, uh, come out as that, and I want to show you that. So. <clears throat> So like what you can do like to get around some like encoding issues, like if you've got like, um, oh, yeah, I love how terminal doesn't do that. But like if you've got uh, like the Spanish, you know, or typically Spanish, at least in Spanish it uses, or like in German, you get like these, the umlaut or whatever, you know, like you get like these characters in there. <clears throat> yeah, and like, why can't I just type that right in terminal? I don't know. 
Okay, so uh, so I've got some kind of crazy non Merck uh, string right here, right? And so like what you can do is you can like base sixty four and encode that thing, right? So you can just say like um, base sixty four uh, encode sixty four, and then the string, right? And you get you get like a string, and the encoding of that string is uh, oh by the way that little does everybody know that underscore is the last return value? It's a nice trick for pry. Um, okay, so so that comes out as US ASCII, and it might not. Like if I start typing like uh, Korean stuff in here, like ba na, ba na, the only word I know. Um, it, I think it, base 64 encoded. Base 64 is it in type of encoding? Base 64 always encodes the US ASCII. That's interesting. That's interesting. Is I was I was showing someone this. I think if you uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, base 64, encode 64. That US ASCII. Yes, it is. Well, anyway, OK, so um, there's some kind of, anyway, so like that is not good either uh, because that's not actually ASCII, right? So. So what do you do, right? So so um, let's let's just call this Korean equals underscore, right? And then I've got this, or no, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Uh, this is Korean, da, da. yeah. Okay, so I've got this string, and then this string is encoding. This is UTF-8, right? So I can base 64 encode Korean, and then I get that, and then that is. US ASCII, right? Which isn't good because, like, what's the encoding of the thing I just encoded? So, UTF 8 <coughs> does not handle KOI 8, which is, I don't know, Jap Japanese speakers use KOI 8 sometimes, and Russian, right? Decode it oh, decode it? Uh, I'm going to have to force the encoding. So, let's see. So, this is, yeah, so, uh, yeah, let me do this. Encoded, right? And then base 64, decode 64. Encoded. So it comes out as this. And this is the problem, OK? So this is the problem. So uh, this, is what, this is what encoding does. So all your data is just bytes, right? And um, this is where data corruption can come out. And this is also why MySQL, your, ex your backups from MySQL might not work, too. Um, <laughs> So, like for example, MySQL has um, has options on it, right? So, it has uh, like default character set on it, right? So, uh, the export. Am I running out of time? Yes. Okay. So, um, basically, if you single encode something, you can get back. If you double encode something wrong, you can't get back, and your day's gone. Um, so, because you can like force, and I'll show you in Ruby. So, if these are my bytes, then basically. This is like garbage, or sorry, garbage, right? So I can force I can force this to encoding UTF-8, and these strings are magic or whatever, right? And I get back, I, I get back to the way it was. But I just know that because I'm the one that typed it. But if it's like from user data, form posts, or whatever, you know, or like email or you know user generated content or something like that, I have no idea, uh, which is a problem. So. How much time do I have? Anyway, yeah, one minute. One minute. Awesome. Okay, so basically, the uh, UTF-8 does solve a lot of problems. But what I was trying to say is ASCII. ASCII is basically this like range of characters, like zero to two fifty something, right? And all of our commonly used symbols on the keyboard like kind of fit in there. And then UTF-8 is basically um, like a kind of a dynamic width, so characters can be like two bytes and three bytes and four bytes. Sometimes I think four bytes. So it's it's not really like a um, th these byte pairs like should go together for most characters, but you really don't know. So um, in the case of like ASCII, it's just going to be single bytes, like because you know zero through two fifty five fit in in one byte, right? So we just kind of got lucky on that. And also the ASCII table, for legacy reasons, just like fits. Like if you made a huge grid, it just like fits right in the beginning. So 
like you know, space is like 20 or whatever. It's like 20 and UTF-8. So we we completely get lucky on this, and then uh, foreign speakers or even th things we didn't expect come into our system, and then we have to like learn learn all this stuff over and over again, which which I, th I think is kind of the mechanics of, of what happens. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. Okay. So that's all I have to say about coding. If you guys have any more questions about the specifics, uh, come see me. <laughs>